What are the qualities of the book of the Bible? Paul? Apostle Paul? Yes. I've been looking all over for you, Paul. Do I know you? Of course you do. My name's Herb. No, sorry, you got me at a loss. You know, as an apostle, I meet so many people, it's hard for me to remember everyone's names. Well, I was there that Eutychus fell the second story window. Oh, well, it's nice to meet a dedicated Christian. Well, I didn't hear about the Eutychus thing till the next morning. I fell asleep during your sermon. I'm sure it was a good one, though. You snooze, you lose, I always say. I'm sure you do. I suppose you're wondering why I'm here. Well, actually, yes, I am a little bit. Well, I heard some of the church leaders are writing a new addendum to the Bible called the New Testament. Uh, yes, that is true. Some of, them, some of the other apostles and I are contributing some of our letters. Well, I was wondering if I could write my own contribution to the New Testament. Really? Yeah, I figured I'd write a gospel. A gospel? Yeah, the gospel according to Herb. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Sure. Why? Why? Why the gospel according to Herb? Well, I figured it had a nice ring to it, you know. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Herb. What do you think? Oh, God. What is that? What is that? Oh, all right, all right. Well, what are you going to say in your gospel? Well, I figured it would be the story of Jesus, just like the others. Oh, so you knew Jesus then? Well, no. I never actually met Jesus. You'd been to Judea then? Well, no. I've never been to Judea either. Is that such a big deal? Young man, Matthew, Mark, and John were eyewitness accounts to the life of Jesus. Yeah, but, but Luke wasn't. Yes, but Luke did talk to hundreds of eyewitnesses. So what you're saying is, I gotta go all the way to Judea just to write a book? If you're serious about writing a gospel, yeah. But I get seasick. I could write an epistle. Yeah, an epistle's just a letter to a church, right? I can knock off three, three or four pages in a day or two. <laughs> Herb's epistle. Herb's epistle to the Galatians. Yeah, that's good. Okay, okay well, all right. What are you going to say in your letters? Well, that's, that's why I'm here talking to you. I mean, you're a good writer, right? Yeah. If you could give me a few pointers. Pointers? Yeah, like... Maybe I can start out with some pious-sounding stuff like, grace and peace be with you. Yeah, that's good. Okay, all right, well, what about your substance? Well, we can worry about substance later. Right now, I need to come up with a writing style. Like when, when John says, dear children, and then Peter says, dear friends. But you, you have the, the best style of them all. You foolish Galatians. <laughs> so, I figured I could take all those and roll them together and come up with my own style, you know? Dear low life slobs. <laughs> um, again, what about substance? You keep asking me about substance. What do you want from me? Substance. What substance? Like, what do you want people to do after they've read your letters? Oh, like when you say go forth and lead by my example? Well, I could do that. Okay, well, what kind of example are you going to be? Well, like, me personally? Yes. That's it. That's my message. That's my substance. All oh, now I gotta do is come up with a catchy verse. I'll be the most quoted person in the New Testament. All oh, but something that good can't come early. I need to save it for chapter 3, verse 16, so it's easy to memorize. <laughs> Herb 316, get it? No. Oh, I've got I've got message, real substance. I've even got a catchy verse. Listen to this. Herb 316. I don't smoke and I don't chew, and I don't go with girls that do. 